We moved him when I was well, I weren't even one. Right. Moved him not long before not long before you know the final where we beat Milan. Three yeah, three yeah, and then penalty. And Highgate's team for today. Number one, Reese Francis. Number two is James Wilcock. Number three, Ben Valance. Number four, Joshua Grady. Number five is George Cleet. Number six is the captain, Shane Palmer. Seven, Charlie Shaw coming back into the start at 11. Number eight is Aaron Williams. Number nine, Ryan Harkin. Number 10, Tyler Haddo. And number 11 is Colin Rooney with the substitutes. He is number 13, Isaac Adigo. Number 14, Liam Cairns. Number 15, Jack Till. And number 16 is Ethan Muckley. With the home side team is number one, Dan Crane, number two, Callum Scott, number three, Archie Hamp, number four, Callum Rudd, number five, the captain, Cal Templeton, number six is Toby Scott, number seven, Charlie Jones, number eight, James Hancock, number nine is Corey Burke, number ten, Josh Parsons, number eleven, Cameron Ebert. Captain Shay Palmer, seeing who will get kick and which sides it will be. It's Astra so it shouldn't be too. And it's Charlie Shaw that gets Highgate underway. A nice turn early from Shaw. That's on the right foot to find Haddo. And early intercepted. Josh Parsons misses the header. Nice from Williams. Got forward over Harkin. Haddo's going to try and get there. And behind, but it's too far from him. Kept alive there by Archie Hamp. Parsons. It's nice football now from Racing Club Warwick. Now Templeton was put under pressure from Harkin. Right to Palmer. Back to Valence. Trying to find Mooney. It was good football up to that point. They're in trouble now. Corey Burke drives down the right-hand side. Gets away from Valence. It's a good ball across, but no one in there. And he's still battling here, Ryan Harkin. James Hancock. So it was really good from him as well. Burke. Hancock's running with the overlap. And he tried to go inside into traffic. And more importantly, into Wilcock, who roughed him with the ball. Francis, his clearance wasn't one of his greatest. Jones, they're allowed to cut inside, but from Palmer. Another shot fired in. I think that might have right the post. Jones pulls it back, and that one is wide. It's a nice ball to the back post. Palmer's up, and Williams tried to flick, but he was just behind him. Francis. It's just good ball towards Haddo, who turns Templeton well. Pulls it back into short. Williams, who's just won the free kick, wins another one. On the edge of the box this time as well. Who's going to be doing this here? It's a very good position, whoever takes it. It's going to be Conor Mooney, hits it low and straight into the keeper's hands. Nice football at the back for Highgate. Of course, they're going to have to be careful here. And a pass was short for O'Grady. Ebert picks it up. They're in a lot of trouble. A big gap in the middle now. Ebert carries forward. And Ebert brought down the edge of the box by Connor Moody. And now a good position for a racing club Warwick to take advantage. And then Ebert steps up to it. It's a nice free kick and just dips over the bar. It was so, so close. Back to Valence, they're keeping the ball well at the moment. Commentators curse as I say that. They give it away to Callum Scott, who can drive down the right-hand side. Still Scott. Oh, it's a brilliant run. Ball from Highgate's point of view. Scott's going to try and finish it himself. Blocked by Cleet. And another block by George Cleet. Highgate saved it for the moment. Now it's going to be a long throw. Certainly is a long throw. It's dangerous. Valence is heading back across to the header. Just over again. Switch out wide. Cut out there by Williams. Haddo. Shaw. What a handball on the edge of the box. Not going to get it. Now Hancock looks to play on four for Burks. And it's basically what they're doing. They're trying to attack as much as possible. Make this game. Does it well. Valence is balling. Cleared from Hamp. And Grady back out to Harkin. He's got Wilcock with him. Short to Wilcock. He swings one in for Haddo. He was up. It's just away from him. Valence. Mooney. Gets the shot off and rocks the post. Wilcock tries to recover it and couldn't. Put them out there. It's been a long season as well. Zebert manages to stay on his feet. 
Lovely clip ball ferry to Parsons. Palmer puts in a good challenge. And Wilcock tried to clear for the throw in. Charlie Shaw and Brian Harkin await the ball if it can get to them. Everett's corner towards the back post. Headed back and just over the bar from Burks. Wilcock. The free kick. Harkins there, fixes it through. Comes to Palmer, who fires it over. Williams there, tries to win it. And Williams can't seem to get his feet. And then skips past three of them. And a great ball for Harkin as well. Can he get there? But Callum Scott got there just in front and wins the free kick. Because there, who can now let Mooney go. Connor Mooney's got space to drive. Shaw's forward. Harkin as well. He's found Harkin. Shaw's in there. Haddo. Trying to get in there as well. And Harkin tried to go alone and was robbed of the ball by Templeton. Hancock's will cut. Leaves his foot in. Tries to keep it, but he's being pushed. Referee not having it. I believe that's Hampton's driving forward now. Ham finds Burks. High gate under a lot of pressure. Burks pulls it back to Everett. Can he get a shot off? Moves it on once more for Toby Scott. Sure. Great challenge to put Toby Scott. Be brave and try and punch this. Through the sea of bodies. Cleek won the header. Mooney as well. Only goes as far as Connor Mort. It's a good ball in. Everett at the far post. Couldn't get a shot. Still had Francis scrambling. Who tipped it over for the corner. Ebert. It's a really good delivery. Francis so punches. Harkin was just on his heels. Callum Scott got there first. Out to Connor Mort. It's all the way through. Williams tried to clear. What didn't have a man on call cool though? Hamp. Harkin robs him of it. Williams. Haddo, Harkin and Shaw all breaking here. Haddo. Still Haddo. Williams inside of him. What can Haddo do? It's a good run forward. Now Williams, who goes to the outside of him, pulls it back for Harkin, turns off the line, Hallow tapped it home! A brilliant counter-attack. It's been on for the last few corners that Racing Club Warwick have had. And Hallow makes it 1-0. And he goes from Francis. And so he goes for an overhead kick on the edge of the box and it deflected straight into the hands of, of Dan Crane. Sounded very ambitious, but he seems like he wants an overhead kick. He's done it in a few games now. Mooney, though, picks it up. They look to break again here. Mooney tries to go alone and drags a shot wide. Yeah, but... A wide. Archie Hamp now got space ahead of him. Still Hamp. It's a great run of Wilcock. Puts in a challenge and I think that's how this gone down. He doesn't look in a good way at the minute. And Cox puts it to the back post. Francis up well. Clashes with Palmer. To it. Cleat out to short. Well, it's Harkin. Goes down, but I think he's going to get a ball back past Scott. Still Harkin going to try and go alone. Templeton not even looking at the ball, trying to take Harkin out, gets the other side. Still Harkin and went down too easy in the end. And laughs about it as he gets up. And they've still got plenty of time in a minute. Coming for that line and taken down by Connor Mooney. Ebert swings it in, Williams. Heads away, O'Grady. To again, Valance Williams away. As far as ever, two shot. Fires over the bar. The best option. Sure, nice turn. To create space for himself and find Wilcock. Wilcock goes for another shot from distance, out for the goal kick. In from Rudd, Ham kept it alive. Back to Rudd, it's on a bad ball. Because that's Ebert's space for the shot. 
just his touch just got away from him. Templeton back to the back post. Hamps in there and heads over. So, so close. There he goes from Rudd. That's his job beating two. He's out of his goal here. They need to clear. It's Barks. Good block from Valence. And out for the corner. Few obvious ones to aim for here. Palmer's one of them. Heads it down. Harkin tries to turn it home. Till's in there as well. Harkin on the turn. Till, great save. I'm not sure how much he knew about it, Dan Crane. It's a good save nonetheless. Ryan Harkin off. Just shy of the 40 goals for the season. And Ethan Muckley will come on. Put in behind here for Conor Mort. Conor Mort's ball in. Valence away. He's going to try and keep this in and does. Puts it in behind. Tilly's going to chase it. Good from Till. Can he keep it here? Tries to go alone. But if he'd looked up, Till. And Muckley was there to square it to. Okay. Couldn't quite keep possession. Ebert. It's a good ball to pass it. He's there for the volley. And screws it wide. And there's a final whistle. It's a big win for Highgate. Win number 23 of the season. And they clinch third away at Racing Club Warwick. Racing Club Warwick nil. Highgate United 1.